Hello all. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to sort array of names. Right. So this is very simple program actually. Uh, so here what we are trying to do is you will take the string values. Right. Array of uh, strings. So suppose if I wanted to arrange all my names. So if I give some two, three different names, those, those has to be sorted in alphabetical order. Right. So for that, I'm using stdio.h and a string header file because I wanted to compare uh, uh, different different strings in order to know which is uh, uh, ascending order. I mean, what is descending order? I need to compare each and every alphabet. Right. So for that reason, I'm using uh, I need to use some string handling function. So for that reason, I'm including string.h header file. And then starting with my main, I'm declaring three variables, i, j, n. And also I'm taking a character array character multi-dimensional array remember that one and string 100 uh, 100 that is character size array string the character size that is if i wanted to give name i can't say uh, array of s right so strings means you'll have a number of specific values right you can't just give single alphabet and also you'll have the length for uh, our names or whatever the different names are there and another extra variable sorry an extra array s is equals to s of 100 and i'm asking user to enter number of names three four how many number of values you want those you can read <clears throat> And then I'm asking user to enter all those names. So by using your for loop, I'm using, I'm reading those values into the str of i, right? So as I said, it is a string array that is character array. Uh, like how uh, we need, we are not going to take in matrix, we had took a multidimensional array as two dimensional array, two for loops, right? So strings, you need not take in that format. So simply just reading those values into directly string of i, right? And then printf, uh, names before sorting so before sorting whatever the values you had given that one simply i'm just printing over here by giving just slash in that is new new line and here comes when you are trying to compare you need the rows and column values right like how we did in matrix two by two matrix three by three matrix right so whatever the values are there now in the string if i give something like brownie b r o w n y right so it is uh first row sec uh, first row sec first column second column third column first column you'll have b second r like that you it will be divided into cells and then the second one you will have i'll give some apple right so all those are there so now what should i do i need to consider the row and also the column value according to that now b will be compared with a Right. So if a value is smaller, that is, I wanted to, I'm going with the ascending order, right? So I need to bring a to the top, right? In that way, I need to um, compare all the values. So while comparing, if I find anything smaller value, then what I'll do, I'll swap that one. So by swapping and into an extra variable, that is what we had used here, s, right? So this is what actually we are using the logic here by using two for loops for i is equals to zero, i less than n, i plus plus. And for the columns, j is equals to zero, i plus one from the first value and j is less than n and j plus plus, right? So if string comparison, string of i is greater than string of j, sorry, string of j, that is you are trying to compare. If its value is greater than zero, then you will enter into this and you will, you are trying to copy str of i to s and str of j to str of i and s to str of j that is simply you are trying to swap by using an extra variable so in this format if the z if you are on on comparison the for the first time if your value is greater than zero then you will do this comparison i mean swapping or else you don't do any swapping simply you will come off this and you'll increment this j value and each and every character by character you will try to do swapping and uh, change change the arrays that is character arrays right and after completion of that n number of times each and every letter of the given words then the complete uh, uh, sorted list will be stored right so that complete sorted list will be again stored in your str of i so now again, I wanted to print that one. So the sorted order of names is n values will be there. So for that, we are using the for loop in order to print out the 
uh, string arrays, right? So this is what a small program, which is very, very simple. Just you need to uh, do the swapping of those each and every alphabet in the form of rows and columns. Same like matrix only. Only the thing is here you will be using the string comparison operation, right? Which is a predefined operation or a function, right? So you can also tell them a string handling function. So by using that, simply you'll be trying to compare and swap with the new value, right? So let us compile this code once. So no errors are there. Let us run it, uh, enter number of names. I'm giving you three names. Uh, so yes, B-R-O, B-R-O, W-N-Y, Brownie. And then I'm giving something like candy. And then I will give apple. Right. So three names I had given. So before swapping, we had brownie, candy, and apple. And the sorted order of the names is apple, brownie, and candy. So according to the alphabetical order, we had sorted the given names. Right. So this is what the sorting of given uh, names using, using our C program. I hope every... Uh, this program is clear for everyone. Thank you all.